too. She like you to put time like me too. What? Ride around with time with me, then come without worry. Jeez. I might come by my go. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god. Wow, okay. I need AC because it's so hot in here. What's up, you guys? And welcome back to another gym vlog, another video. Just welcome back to my channel, all in all. Today is hot as hell in Montreal. It is 30 some it's like 32 degrees outside so fahrenheit i believe that's like 85 86 it's hot and we're not used to this kind of temperature we're not used to this heat so i'm boiling up right now i gotta make this intro hella quick because i have no ac on in my car and like as you guys can see i'm literally sweating out of my pores it's disgusting the stuff you do for a youtube video it's crazy so we're gonna do back and buys today back and biceps in other words and i kind of switched up my workout split so this is gonna be a new day of my workout split because i haven't done like back and biceps in a while i usually do just like a full upper body rather than just like specifically my back specifically my biceps but i am trying to get bigger stronger back so that's the goal I apologize, you guys, if it's turning, like, dark. The sun, as I said, it's so strong today. And I'm hoping, because it's such a nice day out, that there's not so many people at the gym. I'm hoping that everyone rather be outside and not be the dumbass like myself going to work out in 30-something degree weather. Hmm. So we're going to start by taking some pre-workout. Okay, I need my windows open. This is, I cannot. Even at that, I feel like, bro, there's no air coming through. Okay, we just got to hurry up and get out of this car. That's what we got to do. We dry scoop over here. If you didn't know, now you know. You know, I'm not new to this. I'm true to this. Watch me choke and spit this pre-workout all the way out, embarrassing myself. All right, cheers to a good back and biceps. The gym is looking kind of empty, which I'm happy about because it is a long weekend in Quebec. It's like a provincial holiday, so most people are outside enjoying the weekend. They're not working out like I am, you know. They're not getting that summer body right. They're lacking. I'm on top of my stuff. <laughs> At least I try to be. So we're going to go work out and I'll catch you guys in my voiceover when I explain to you guys exactly what it is that I'm going to be doing. Because this, this yellow background with the lockers, is just not cute. It's not a vibe. Alright, so the first exercise I did was targeting my back with some bent over rows. And as you guys can see here, I actually have an underhand grip because I want to target more like my upper back muscle, rhomboid muscles. Pretty much basically it's just like your muscles around your shoulder blade. Now if y'all see the guy in the back, I'm doing 50 pounds and he was shook. Like he looks like he's staring at me like wow, she's really lifting heavy. Because listen, I live heavy. I don't do light stuff in the gym. So another key point that you guys want to keep in mind is pushing your hips back so that you feel it more in your upper back and not in your lower back. I did this for 12 reps for 3 sets. Then I went ahead and did some single arm rows just to really strengthen each arm. Because for me honestly like my right side is stronger than my left. So I tend to overcompensate a lot with that right side. So with this exercise, I allow myself to really build up the strength in my weaker arm by doing about 14 to 15 reps for three sets on each arm. And a key thing for you guys here with this exercise is you want to bring the weight back towards your hip and then slowly bring it towards underneath your shoulder. So think of like forming a little semi-circle as you're rowing and pulling the weight backwards. Next, I went ahead and did some bicep curls. Now this is just like a bicep muscle isolation. Before I get into the details of this exercise, you guys, look at the veins popping through my arms. Like, I was just so shook, shook when I saw myself while I was recording this like wow so key pointers here is you guys want to do full range of motion so bring the weight from your hips all the way to your shoulders keep your core engaged be firm and grounded onto the floor so you're not arching your back rounding your back trying to lift the weight up and you don't want to move anything other than your forearm so that's from your elbow to your wrist and obviously your bicep should be on fire after this so next what I did was another back exercise but this is more your lats if you guys don't know your lats is pretty much like the long muscle kind of going along the side of your back I did pull down 15 reps and so one thing you guys really want to keep in mind when you do this and I know a lot of people are not even aware of this is you want to actually retract your back muscles before starting so what that pretty much is is you want to lift your shoulders up back and then drop them before even pulling the bar so sometimes what happens is you have to reset as I'm doing right now to make sure you're really engaging those muscles now listen 
the most humbling moment in the gym is when you realize that the weight is too heavy and you have to drop it. And I was noticing that my form was off because the weight was a bit too heavy and I was focusing more on like lifting the weight than having a proper form. So I dropped the weight and now it was a bit more smoother. My shoulders could be a little, my form could be better. Like I'm not going to lie looking at this video, but just look at my back. Look at the gains, you guys. And this is exactly why I said I want to have a back and buys day because I really want those back gains to come through. All right, so to end off my back and bicep day, I did some cardio on the Stairmaster. And for me personally, I like to watch YouTube videos while I do cardio. So I decided to watch Monet Michaels weekly vlog because I just love her content. Literally watch it all the time. So I put it on a speed of five and I pumped it out for about 15 to 20 minutes. And one key thing I'm gonna let y'all know with the Stairmaster or the treadmill, Keep your hands off the railing, okay? Do not rest your hands on the railing. Put your hands on your hips, put your hands on your head, but do not rest your body on the railing, okay? It's the only way. All right, guys, I'm back home. I am, listen, do you see the sweat? I am, this is not, like, I'm not glowing. I'm sweating, like, literally sweating disgustingly right now. Um, I had to do a few errands after the gym, but that pretty much is my workout that I did today for back and by. It was more focused, I would say, on like back. Like I did a lot more back stuff than bicep stuff. I probably did one, no, I actually did one like bicep, bicep, Jesus, bicep isolation exercise, which was like the bicep curls. Everything else pretty much was back. But there's a few exercises I did, especially with like the second lap pull downs or like pull downs, I should say, where it was more narrow grip. That does work your biceps as well. Like I definitely felt them firing up because it is like a secondary muscle. So a lot of times when you're working out, you have primary muscles that's working and you have secondary muscles. So sometimes you can feel the secondary work. <laughs> Jeez, where is my words today? Sometimes you feel the secondary muscles working and like you can be confused because you're like, wait, I'm doing a back exercise. But sometimes like you're lifting weights or you're holding weights and that does involve your arms. So this is why sometimes you'll feel it in your arms. But it's also hard sometimes to engage muscles like your lats. Like that's a muscle I feel for a lot of people, especially beginners. And sometimes for myself, it's hard to really engage those muscles when doing exercises like lat pull downs. But that's the end of it. I did my cardio 15 minutes watching a YouTube video because that just gets me through it. And now I'm a shower because y'all, I'm sweaty. I'm disgustingly sweaty right now. As I said, Munchal is hot as hell. And I don't have AC on right now in my room, which is ridiculous. I need to get that installed. I'm operated literally on this like small ass walmart fan so i'm gonna take my third shower for the day and i hope you guys enjoyed this back and bicep come with me to the gym vlog and don't forget to subscribe you guys if you haven't done so already i'll catch you guys in the next video bye have a great day and don't forget to work out okay ladies don't forget upper body super important bye